If you like to have some bronze skin, but you don't like to wear self-tanners at all, then I have some things to show you in today's video that's going to give you the look you want. Stay tuned! Hi and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and thank you to all my new subscribers. Well, in today's video, I want to talk about what I do to get a bronzed glow, to give my body some color, and also to give myself a glow if I want one. Now, personally, I do use self-tanners, but I know many of you have commented that you don't really care for the self-tanners, and yet you don't like being so pale or so white when you expose some skin. So I just have a few tips and tricks that you might want to try that will give you what you're looking for without having to wear a self-tanner. Now there are several different things you can do, different products, but you want some sort of a bronzing lotion, something that has a little bit of color in it, or you can wear a bronzing powder, uh, some kind of glimmer in it, and things like that to give you the look that you want. Now I'm going to start off with something that maybe you all use anyhow, but it's the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This is really good. I mean, this gives you coverage. Not only will it give you some color, but it's going to help camouflage those polka dotted lower legs if you know what I mean because as we age we get the dark sunspots and then we also lose pigmentation in some parts of our skin so you have white spots so you know you're just kind of blotchy and polka dot looking and it's not the best look but you know what can you do it's just part of aging well this stuff really covers those things up or any kind of bruising you may have you know your skin gets thin as you get older and you bruise more easily this can really help now it comes in different shades light medium medium deep and deep so depending on your skin tone and what color you want to achieve that's how you would select the shade. I believe mine is in medium. Yes, mine's in medium. Now, this is not just for the legs. I know many people that wear shorts or the, uh, what are they called, the capri pants. They will put it on just their lower legs when they're going somewhere to give themselves some color and camouflage those spots or spider veins or whatever you may have but you can also put this on your arms your hands you know anywhere that you're going to be exposing skin that you want to have a little color but like i said this is um well like a thicker coverage so let me show you well first i'll shake it up good and then i'll put a little like on my hand or arm here so you can see all right, so here it is. That's the shade I have, which kind of looks too dark right now, but I'm going to blend it in. So let me show you how this would look. And I don't find it to come off on my clothes. For some people, maybe if they layer it on real thick, or put it on their entire body, it might. But if I just want it on my arms, hands, or legs, then I don't seem to have that problem. All right, I just kind of went up to my elbow, and I did my hand too. So I'm going to show you the difference. Can you see that? And here's the other side. So it just 
to me gave me a nice color. Now, right now, I should have something lighter on because that's a pretty obvious difference. And I don't want to look that dark right now. So, if I use the shade light, it would just be a more subtle color. But it does cover up imperfections. I'm looking, you know, I know I have age spots and little bruisey looking marks on my arms and you really just can't see them so I think it's great and this stuff will wash off you know when you take a shower so it's no problem getting it off what I like is oh my hand looks good <laughs> usually my hands look old because they're veiny and stuff but this just kind of camouflages it now before I wipe this off I want to show you another product this one is thinner so it's going to give you the color but not necessarily coverage so this is called cosmos sun and i got this on amazon it's by cosmopolitan it's called sun lotion with shimmer and let me see what shade i have well i don't see a shade on here it just says ultra glittering instant bronze glow so you're going to get the bronzing color plus the glow. And maybe this is the only shade it comes in. I don't know. Like I said, I can't find a color on it. So I'm going to put that on this arm so we can compare the two. And I'll shake this up for you. And then let's see what we got. All right, look at that. That looks dark. I mean, darker than the Sally Hansen. But I'm going to try it anyhow because I've already used these things and I know what they look like. It's, it's not as dark as it looked when I took it out of the tube. All right, now I have this on. This one was easier to spread because it's thinner. It's really a pretty color. Of course, my watch band left a big white mark here. But... I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two, but this one is thicker and darker. This one is creamier and spreads easier and much more subtle. So now I'm going to kind of try to wipe this Sally Hansen off so that I can compare this against my just regular tone of my skin. Okay, so I just had to go in and get soap and water to take off the Sally Hansen. So now you can see the difference. This is my regular kind of kind of pale looking skin right now and this is with the Cosmos on it. And you can see the difference in my hands. And here it is from the back side. So this is more subtle and I really like it. Like I said, you can get it on Amazon. Anything that I have here to show you, if I can find the link for them, I will link them below. You may be able to get them at Walmart or anywhere, but I always check Amazon. All right, let's move on to a few other things that I have and I use. And one of them is this Milani Soft Focus Glow. Now, I don't know where I got this. Probably Walmart. But it's kind of the same thing. And you, I guess you could put this on your face. I, I don't. I haven't. But I do like it. So here's what that looks like. And the color is just bronze. Again, I don't know if it comes in other shades. But I will go ahead and put that on this hand. Just so you can see. I'll just go up right above my wrist. And this is very subtle. But yet you do have a bronze look to you. And I like that. And it's very creamy to rub in. No, no effort whatsoever. So here's that. And here's my other one. Now don't forget this one still has the Cosmos on it. But you can see here, I hope, the difference. I only went up to about here. 
it's just a subtleness to it. Let me see what it would look like on kind of up in this area. So I'm going to get a little more of this and I'll put it like right here, you know, around my collarbones, just right in that area. Can you see that at all? Again, you know, when you're doing something like this, you just kind of want a hint of color, just kind of like you've had a little bit of sun, you're not that pasty white. And that's why I like using these kind of things. Now, these aren't things that I would do every day. I mean, trust me, I'm not going to put the Sally Hansen airbrush legs on unless I'm going somewhere. Maybe to an event, to a wedding, to a class reunion, um, to a dinner, something like that. But it really helps and comes in handy when you need something. Another thing that I have is by L'Oreal. It's called Beach Bay Face and Body Luminizer. And that's what that looks like. Now, honestly, I don't know if uh, this is discontinued, if you can still find it in Walmart, which is where I got it. But I got it a good two years ago. But it also comes in different shades. A light, a medium, a dark. Mine is medium to deep. So let me put a little of that on and show you on my finger. And this says it's an illuminator. So let's see what that does. I'll put it right, right in this area. Oh boy, I'm going to be patchy at the end of this video. Oh yeah, I can see that. See, a little color, just a little bit of a shine. Nothing that's like sparkly and all that stuff. Just a little bit. So, you may enjoy that if you can find it. I, I'm just not sure if they still carry it. And the last one I have, the last liquid or cream type one, is this Body Blur High Definition Body Makeup by Vita Liberata. I know I've heard of this before and I think I looked it up once and it was kind of expensive. This is the shade Latte. It's 3.38 ounces. I think it was around $30. But of course, I got mine at Marshall's for $14.99. So, that was a good deal. And I'm going to show you the color of this one. Put a little on my finger here. And maybe I'll put that over here. Now this, this doesn't have a glow to it. It's just a kind of a body blur. And I don't know if you can see that. I can. And again, if you have any like spots or discoloration or anything, it's just going to kind of blur them and blend your skin. It's just going to even out your skin tone. This isn't thick or heavy. It's lightweight. It's creamy. You could wear this on your legs or your arms or chest or wherever you want to wear it, just like the other ones. Well, gosh, I don't want to sound like, a, you know, I'm conceited or talking great about myself. But I'm loving the way my chest is looking. Usually it's just patchy and uneven and I don't know. You see all those spots and age spots and sun damage and everything. But I'm looking in my mirror down here and it just looks smoother. It actually looks smoother and like it's camouflaged. And I just had that little bit of bronzer on and then I topped it off by patting in some of that oil. So, I'm loving that. Now, I have this Physician's Formula Butter Glow. It's a liquid bronzer in the shade Bronze. This is for your face, but you can wear this stuff anywhere you want to wear it. So, this one, I'll show you the color. Here's the colors. It's not that dark, but it's just enough. And 
If you don't like to wear foundation, which I do not wear foundation, you could get something like this and just put it on your face to give you a little bit of color, and that's all you have to do. But I'll go ahead and, well, I don't know, I'll put that here in the center because I'm running out of skin and body parts. All right, let me see if I can see that. I think I can, yes. You know, because my chest is kind of spotty too. I have dark marks. I'm looking in the mirror here. And it can look kind of uneven and patchy. But when I just do something like this, it makes such a big difference. And another thing I'll share with you is say you're putting it on your legs just from the knees down because you're wearing a uh, maxi or midi dress or skirt and you don't have a whole lot of legs showing but what is showing you want to have some color on it and you're wearing sandals so you want some color on the top of your feet if I put any of these products on I also use these kind of brushes these are really nice see how they're shaped here's another one it's on a little handle, kind of looks like a little paintbrush, but it's on an angle here like this. And that's nice if you want to get in certain cracks and crevices. I guess you could use a little kabuki brush like this, but these are very nice for spreading these kind of things. You know, you can just go in a circular motion and get between all your fingers and all that to make sure it's even. I love these. I get them all at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They're usually $3.99, so not an expense. And of course, lastly, you can always use just your regular bronzer. The bronzer that you wear on your face, maybe you might want to get it in just one shade darker if you want that sun-kissed look, maybe on your shoulders, like I have this Physician's Formula, let me see what shade this is, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and mine is in the shade Matte Deep Bronzer. So this is a matte, it's not going to give you like a glow or a shimmer. So I would take one of these brushes, I'll go ahead and use this one, and swirl it around in the bronzer. I got some on the brush, and let's just do maybe this shoulder. Let me make sure I'm getting this on evenly. So I'm just going to do this right here. Maybe come up my neck a little bit. Just to give you an idea. Let's look at the difference. I can see the difference from this shoulder to this shoulder. This one doesn't have that bronzy color like this one. So, again, if you're wearing a certain type of top, just use whatever bronzer you have and just brush it in good. Go in circular motion so it's evenly spread. And that will make a difference for you. Now, if you want more of a glow look, I always use an oil, some kind of body oil. And this particular one I got at Marshall's for $5.99. It's called Hemp Body Oil Illuminator. And it's Rose Water Lily. And oh my gosh, does it smell good. So let me show you this. I put a little like right here. And I'm just going to kind of go around. Let me get some on like my collarbones. Yeah, right there and right here. And what that does is just add a little bit of glimmer to your skin. Not these big sparkles coming out everywhere, but just like a smoothing glimmer. And I think it's very fresh looking, very summery looking, and you might enjoy something like that. Just don't use an oil that's heavy and thick and doesn't soak into your skin because then you'll feel greasy all day. So I hope these things helped you that you could find some kind of product that you can use 
to give yourself a little color. You don't have to do your whole body. Just do it in areas. If you're wearing a sleeveless top with jeans, just do your arms. You don't have to use all this different stuff. Just take your regular face bronzer and lightly brush it up and down your arms. Make sure you cover everything. And it really makes a difference. And if you use something to bronze up your skin or illuminate your skin, then please leave that in the comment section and tell me what you use. Because I like to try all these different things. You know, I'm really into the body skin, the lotions, the potions, the kind of everything. Well, that's all I have for you today in this video. I know and uh oh, I don't know, a video I did a few weeks ago, I said I would do a video about how to bronze up your skin and give it a glow without using self-tanners. So I hope this helps. And I want to give you one more reminder. No matter what you put on your skin, if, if you get a beautiful bronzy glow, you don't have to go dark or anything, just something subtle that adds a little color. But no matter what you put on, if your skin is dry and kind of scaly looking, it's not going to look good. Just make sure that you exfoliate your skin regularly and always wear a moisturizer, a good conditioning, hydrating moisturizer. And then you'll be looking your best when you put these bronzing products on your skin. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today comes from Luke 631. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Now, to me, this is very straightforward. It's a fundamental principle of our ethical behavior. It's also referred to as the golden rule. And no matter what faith you were brought up in or whether you read the Bible or didn't, I'm sure somewhere along the line throughout your life, you've heard that saying, the golden rule. And it's basically just treating others as you would want to be treated. Sometimes we expect that people should treat us a certain way, but yet we're not displaying that. We're not treating them that way. So we have no right to expect that. You have to set the example. You have to shine the light on that kind of behavior. You have to show compassion and empathy and kindness and forgiveness and all those things. You can't expect to receive those things if you're not willing to give them. Sometimes when we lose our cool or get mad about something, we may say something or do something that isn't our best, right? But if you really think about that golden rule, and how you want to be treated, it might stop you from treating someone else in a bad way. It just may, may put you back in a place that you can remember, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to talk to him or her that way because I certainly wouldn't want to be talked to that way. So it's just easy to remember that golden rule. We're not responsible for how other people act or how they treat us, but we are responsible for ourselves. So just remember to treat people with dignity, with respect, with kindness. That's what you want for yourself, so be the example and show it. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.